Hi everybody, I thought uh, today would be a great time to give you an updated video on my pedal board. It's been a while since I've made a video about these things and uh, a lot has changed on my pedal board, mostly due to necessity and some things due to just experimentation and so uh, I'll talk you through it as we go. Uh, let's get started. So I'm still using the Vocal Loco uh, preamp. It's so important to have a preamp to stabilize your sound, to give you a nice, clean sound coming in, uh, especially if you play the horn. And I like this one because of the options it gives me. So I'm taking my sound from my preamp and sending it out. The first pedal it goes to is my noise suppressor, noise gate. This is new uh, on my pedal board. Well, I've had it for a few months now, but it was really essential. I started taking this rig out with playing live. I noticed that it's getting a lot of uh, bleed from the drums and the bass, and it would cause feedback, particularly uh, when I'm using an auto filter. auto filter it would pick up the low frequencies of the bass and it would just start boom, 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 feeding back like that. So uh, the noise suppressor really solved that problem. Thresholds up uh, all the way on it and uh, it only picks up, uh, it only engages or opens the gate when I start playing it's, and it's really solved the issue of bleed from the drums and the bass. So in a lot of effect signal flow, you get the effects lined up linearly or serially, one right after another. And one thing I've really tried to do is uh, do it a little bit differently, run my effects or most of the effects in parallel so that I can mix and match the way the effects are um, shaping my sound. It's not any better than lining them up serially, but it gives me just something different. And so I'm going to explain how I split my sound and how I take it out uh, through the, throughout the board. So after the noise suppressor, we go into the Maris Enzo, which is a, an instrument synthesizer. This is where I get my Ottawa sound and uh, some arpeggiated sounds. Um, it has a great ring modulator. I've talked about this before. I love the ring modulator in it. Um, and at this point, I take, uh, it, at this point, the Enzo allows me to split my sound and I have a completely dry track coming out of, of uh, one of the outputs. It's stereo out. So the wet goes directly back into my vocal loco. So, this first stream of effects is exclusively the Maris Enzo um, coming back out and mixing with my dry sound in my preamp. Then I take the dry out of the Enzo and send it over to the Game Changer Plus pedal. This is a new pedal for me. I just recently got it. Uh, I've been wanting it for a while, checking out videos on it, and uh, it's really cool. It works great. I have a couple of videos that I use it just uh, the plus pedal kind of demonstrating its ability. Anyway, I take it from the plus pedal and send it into uh, the Marist Auto Bit Junior. Now, at the plus pedal, I'm also splitting the sound again. So I have a direct dry out and then one I use for wet. The wet out is going to the Auto Bit Junior and the dry out 
is coming over to the Maris Hedra. I'll talk about the Hedra first, and then I'll talk about the signal I sent to the auto bit machine. So again, I'm taking a dry, straight through the plus, not affected by the plus whatsoever, into uh, the Hedra here, and the Hedra is a, a tone shifter. This is where I'm getting my harmonies. I can decide whether I want these harmonies to be within a certain key, or if I want them to be chromatic. Sometimes I'll stack them uh, in tertian harmonies, like thirds. Sometimes I'll stack them in chordal harmonies, stacked in fourths. All depending on the sound I'm looking for. This is also, uh, the hedra is also what I use to get a, uh, a really nice chorus sound for my saxophone. I, I love the chorus sound that the hedra produces. So, um, harmonies, chords, chorus. Comes through the hedra, and then that goes through uh, this little looper here. I don't use the loop all that often because uh, when I'm playing with the Trio Atomic, my bass player, Will, does all the looping, really. He uh, lays down a lot of loops with bass lines, and trying to coordinate the two loops together doesn't work that well often. So if I do loop with uh, the ditto, then it's more ambient looping, not trying to line up with what uh, bass and drums are playing. So I send out, this is the second single that I'm sending out. So from the hedra to the ditto and sending a stereo line out because I like the stereo effects on the hedra. So this is number two. Number one was the vocal loco. Number two is uh, the ditto coming out. Now back to the game changer plus. I'm sending a wet signal to the auto bit junior, which is a, a awesome effect. I love it. I just got this recently as well. Uh, I haven't figured out everything it does, but I, I like the bit crushing it does in it. Kind of gives me a really nice fuzz sound. I like the sequencer, especially when the sequencer is moving through the filter, automating the filter. It has a little bit of stutter. I don't use it all that often, but I'm trying to figure out the stutter, and I think it has a lot of cool potential. I do use the Autobit Junior a little bit to sequence melodies as I'm trying to layer them in underneath my solos. Take any sound that I'm sending through the auto bit junior, I'm sending it through my line six DL4, which is a delay pedal, a whole bunch of different delays through it. And then I'll take that and send that line through my reverb pedal. So then this is the third output line I have. So three outputs, two of them are in stereo, one of them is mono. The vocal loco is mono, the hedra through the looper is stereo, the auto bit through the delay pedal, and the, the reverb, uh, the line six in the Hall of Fame are stereo as well. Okay, so I'm still using uh, my MIDI foot controller, the FCB 1010. 
to control a lot of what I'm doing, almost all of what I'm doing really. If you watch the videos, you'll see um, the majority of the time I'm over here stepping on the FCB 1010. Sometimes I'll go over to uh, the effects pedals and engage them or bypass them. But I really rely a lot on MIDI control to uh, determine the types of sounds I want. The reason I do this is because it allows me to control all of the Maris pedals at once. So I have three, three signal flows. They're kind of focus on the Maris pedals, the Enzo, the Hydra, and the Autobit Junior. And I'm able to layer these sounds together, uh, send all three signals out. I can change all three at once. It's really why I, I like these pedals is because of the controllability I get with the MIDI controller. Um, so I used to, control the Hydra with one of the expression pedals on the FCB 1010, but once I got the Autobit Junior, um, the prospects of being able to control some of those parameters were more important than the Hydra, so I, I converted, or I switched the MIDI signal of the expression pedal here over to the Autobit Junior, so I'm able to control now the Enzo and the Autobit Junior on my expression pedals. That's what you see happening when you see me pressing these pedals down. The Hydra is no longer controlled uh, by an expression pedal. I'm just selecting different harmonies or different textures. And I'm not really uh, using the expression pedal. I'm not using the expression pedal at all with the Hydra anymore. I'm only using them with uh, the Autobit Junior and the Enzo. Uh, the great thing about this is I can send all three messages to change out the uh, or to change the presets on the Maris pedals all at once. So I, I spend a lot of time programming the sounds I want for each pedal, for each song, different sections of the songs, so I can get a, a wide variety of sounds, layer them, kind of a tapestry of sounds. Let's see where all this sound goes into. Thank you.